when you're playing with something like this, you feel so connected to the ball. You just, you, you love it. It's, the, it's what makes tennis fun. Hey, I'm Justin. And I'm Luca, and we're from Rackets and Runners. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Dunlop CX200 Tour in the 16x19 version. Alrighty, Luca. So, what's new? Tell me all the hot stuff. It's a 16x19 string pattern, uh, 95 square inch head size. So, 1619-95s are pretty uncommon uh, nowadays. Rackets are trending a little bit bigger in head size, and that string pattern is really open for that small of a head size. It's 310 grams, so a little bit heavier than what you might consider standard. It's got a really thin beam. It's kind of what sets this apart as a really controlled racket. Uh, and, and one of the really nice things is it doesn't have too much technology in it. Um, for some reason, you know, to sell rackets nowadays, you gotta put a bunch of stuff in it. Um, it still has dampening, a little bit of dampening. It's called Sonic Core by Infinergy. Um, to me, it doesn't change the feel too much, which is a really good good thing. Um, it just makes it a little bit more comfortable. The whole spectrum of rackets out there right now, what sets this apart? Why would I be kind of looking at this? Back to what I was saying, 95 square inch rackets are kind of becoming phased out a little bit. We're going bigger in head size mainly because they were almost too unforgiving. Now, that really isn't the case for me with this racket. Um, for a 95 square inch head size, I think down to that string pattern being a little bit more open, it's remarkably forgiving. You still get all those benefits of a, of a smaller head size where the sweet spot feels really, really sweet, really controlled. But like I said, a little bit more for, on the forgiving side, slightly bigger sweet spot where you don't feel like you gotta be on top of your game the whole time you're playing with this frame. They're really a special racket to me um, and one that I really liked. I'm walking in the shop, you're bringing this racket out for someone. Who's that individual? Who's looking for this? This racket to me is perfect for that, that person that wants to transition out of the really small head size, thin beam, kind of unforgiving rackets that doesn't want to sacrifice that feel they're getting with those frames. You know, you're, you're, you're kind of keeping it nice and small, keeping it nice and precise with really good feel, but you're expanding the sweet spot a little bit with a slightly more open string pattern. And again, you're really not sacrificing, you're not, you're not sacrificing that feel. Uh, you're just kind of opening yourself a little bit more to the modern game, basically. All right, and, and you've, been, you've been hitting on the court a fair bit with this. What are your thoughts? So one thing I want to say is, I actually find this racket to be too light uh, in stock form. It's 310 grams, which I think doesn't, it's, it's okay, it's okay, but I think you need a little bit more weight to, to kind of bring it to its stability sweet spot, which is actually a good thing. I really like what we call platform rackets, rackets you can kind of customize, put lead in the hoop, put a leather grip on the handle, and that's just what I did to this racket. I put, I put a little bit of weight up in, up in the hoop. I, put a leather grip on the handle, which I, I do all the time. Kind of annoys my boss sometimes. That's what that's what I really liked about this racket. You can kind of customize it and you really find your spec that works out for you. When you're playing with something like this, you feel so connected to the ball. You just, you, you love it. Question we get um, a lot at the store, how would you string this up? What have you been uh, popping in there? Back to what we were saying about it being a small head size soft racket. Um, it would do really well with a really soft string, like a multi-filament or a natural gut. But like with rackets in 2022, you gotta be able to, to have a poly in it. And you can definitely put a polyester string in there because of how open the string pattern is. You'll get a really nice snap from the string bed. So yeah, I would prefer a polyester in here, but you can certainly put a softer setup. Brings me to another thing. This racket is incredible value for money. Uh, it's about uh, $60 under kind of the average racket now that rackets have kind of gone up in price. Dunlop hasn't gone up too much. So yeah, Dunlop represents really good value for money in my opinion. So yeah, come in. Demo yours, or you can buy it at racketsandrenders.ca.